Welcome back everyone to TNO The Last News of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Love, and right now it is April 22nd, 1973, and we're pretty much ready to go to war with the Germans. I mean, we, we need to make a few more divisions, but oh well. Also, I'm going to try something out here, because we have Oberkommando uh, Brasenstadt, but they have a lot of resistance in some places here, like up here? No. No. Here? Yes. 85% resistance. None. Quite a bit. 93%. 83%. We also have some comments to go through as well, but we'll get through those in just a little bit. 88, 85. They have no manpower, which, I mean, it makes sense for them to have a lot of resistance, which is pretty nice. So, I'm thinking, what happens if we just let them attack us? Oh, oh, oh. These people have no manpower either. Look at that. Why do they have no manpower, though? That's a real question. Um, no authority here, I guess, as well. Members of the Tiflis 3. Cool. Shoot to the Reich. Uh, Ukraine, though, they should have some manpower. Yeah, they have a million. Uh, divisions wise, there's quite a few. Germany has quite a few divisions as well. An okay, a amount of manpower under Shore, of course. And, oh, Austin's gone. Actually, who are we fighting here? Oh! What? What? So we have the Arab, United Arab States here. Abdullah al Salal. Iran joined the co prosperity sphere, and so did Afghanistan. That's kind of a. Uncertainly thought. Um, no offense, is looking pretty good, but. I think it's time for us to at least help and hold defend our own lines here. We'll go in. Also, we did eventually make the nuclear device. So we do have a single weapon. It's very nice. I would like to move in, but I want to see how much attrition the enemies will get once we, like, start them. So in 1918, guns were blazing in the Ipatiev house, and the Romanov dynasty was slaughtered. The Romanovs were considered a dynasty gone for good, and monarchism within Russia with it. However, the revival of the imperial spirit caused by the reunification of the Russian Empire and Tsar Vladimir Romanov at the head of it. The Russian Empire has come back and are now looking to enact on restoring the Russian Empire to the fullest to return land stolen by the German invaders years ago. Today, the war of imperial restoration begins. The White Army marches west, their eyes focus on the Third Rome as they begin reaping revenge on those who destroy the motherland. The Great Crusade against the Germans begin. Yeah, and there's this one. Well then, God save Russia. This is very weird. So these guys aren't in... Huh. I'm not sure if I really understand this. This is going to suck then. Well, hello Diplo. Oh, this is going to really suck. We have to fight through all this attrition and stuff. Oh my god, no. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. It's gonna be so, 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 so bad. If we move fast enough, it won't be too bad, but. Oh, we're gonna lose a lot of equipment, aren't we? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, start nuclear war, that's fine. Yeah, no, not yet, but maybe someday. Oh, they're probably gonna Navy invade us too, which is gonna suck, but. As long as we get that fuel, that's all I care about. Also, do we have. Also, we have no debt. We're 206 billion GDP, no debt, and end up looking pretty good too. Uh, is that worth doing right now? Not really, no. Yeah, they do have a few divisions, but my gosh. Alright, so since we're coming up here anyways. Please, please put down a lot of the resistance. We're not going to have a lot here yet, but oh my gosh. Some of it's going to be just so... Why did you stop? Go. <sighs> You're literally not allowed to stop. It's so bad here. Now, one of the comments was, uh, where's Tubox Siri? I'm like, well, this is the, the campaign before Tubox Siri comes out. So we gotta wait a little bit. <clears throat> At least the time of this recording, because once it's 24 hours from now, it should be out, so. Yeah. Oh my god, please just go in. Please just go in. Please, 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 please. Why does that be so bad? Oh my god. That's so much resistance, and we don't have the manpower for it. Yeah, there needs to be a way to rate, increase your uh, manpower. I would say. Um, I don't know, looking pretty bad. We'll get a hold. Catherine Stadt is not too bad, so. Down here is not too bad, but we just need more manpower.
Haven't been able to get it just yet. If you wonder about improved academic pace, please square ahead. Something to be celebrated. Secondary schooling, nice. Very nice. My god, 99%. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? Do we win? Oh, if we can core... Oh, that's not bad. Because if we can core them, that's, that's free manpower. Nice. Alright, so that's not bad. That's really disappointing that they weren't united. So, um, get to the front lines and just kind of hold. Oh my god, you guys got encircled. Again. So I should never send my tanks down here by themselves. They're very irresponsible. When did you guys show up? Uh, keep going. No, keep going. Keep going. And since we just got those done, maintenance companies. On both of these guys. Nice. And... Flamethrowers? Why not? We love flamethrowers. Uh, no, we're good. When do you guys go here first and then go there? And we got there. Nice. Good. Well, not really. There we go. Oh my god, the resistance here. Why? Why, for the love of god? Oh my god! You know, I might just let them come in, but then again, we need the, we need the territory so we can core it. We gotta hold it for like a month. I just got that stuff done. And we'll, we'll get it done. <clears throat> uh, nope. I mean, if they really want all this resistance, I mean, that's fine with me. It's going to tear us up like crazy. All this manpower we don't have. Oh, my goodness. Not quite there. Oopsie. Yeah, whatever. Um, maintenance. Yeah, probably better maintenance companies. Oops, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me, do some coffee, too, as well, to keep us nice and warm. But, we'll see. Go straight to Baku. Keep this. That'd be fine. We already used up all that map already, huh? Bruh. Well, we're definitely a little bit, of, a little bit of resistance so far. It's nice, but still. Oh, they took this, huh? Nice. Good. I hope you love uh, attrition, Germany. Because my god, is this so bad. Wait, why are we not at war with these guys, too? You know, we'll go to war with them in a little bit. Done it's... Ah, it's because Goring didn't finish his stupid tree. Stupid fat man. Cool, another comment was, uh, why did not you... Why did you not peacefully reunify with the Siberian Republic? Uh, that is because they actually immediately, like, wanted to go to war with me. I was thinking, you know, we might be able to do that, but... They didn't want to do that. Actually, I was not suffering any resistance here. Or, like, any attrition... Well, some of us are doing some attrition stuff here. What is this? Yeah, state, yeah. Now we're doing some... Getting some, uh... We're doing pretty well against the Germans, though, so far. I mean, using elite infantry definitely is better. I'm glad I looked at the red... I, I'll be honest. Like, I, I look at the red a whole, quite a bit. But, like... Yeah, they recommended that we use... Uh... Elite units, even though I've done literally almost every single Warlord. And I, uh... Didn't really ever use them. So... Oh, there's a core now. Okay, that's why it's not bad. Okay, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, my friend. Thank goodness. So they... They decided to not do that. And so now they're suffering a lot of attrition here, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, thank God we got manpower. Whew. They still have a lot of guns, I, I suppose. Probably. Oh. Oh, nice. Good stuff, too. You might want to hang out and just wait real quick. Surprise. Let them move around first. Let them just wail themselves against our line. Because that's pretty good so far. <clears throat> Actually, if you wanted to, you guys go right right here. Oh. I'm going like that up there. It's not a bad idea. Yay, look at that. Now that's pretty nice. 
Louis did thought. Obviously, this this video is not very long, but still. Let me just go in. Oh, we're out of civvies. Oh, we have too many civvies. Uh, here. Roads. You might as well make the roads. So you, roads aren't too bad around here. Moskva. Nice. There you go. Should be good enough. And really trying to max out the APCs and tanks. Which I did throw APCs on the tank divisions too. Oh, look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Not even a million casualties yet? Oh, I'm disappointed. What's over here? Uh, move the Russian capital. Now the Russian people finally trumped up with Germany. Sam said what the future capital of Russia will be. Much of the government has supported the move to return the capital of Russia back to Moscow, but the great deal of people who believe we should keep the capital here in the Russian Empire. Vyaka, window of the west. Prashichta? Uh, we lost it. Oh. Huh. Well, keep the capital in Vyaka. Let's go to Third Rome. Because we can. Okay, so they stopped attacking, which sucks. To Germania, my friends. To Germania. Look at all that attrition they're suffering. I love it. So you get... Um... Guns? Probably don't honestly need them, but okay. Cadre having a quarter trillion GDP, that's all. Do you have any upgrades? Oh yeah, Panzer would be nice. That's good. Do you have any upgrades? No? We're just like destroying them with our tanks. I love it. They have up to 22 divisions. 1.2 million. Scandinavian. Slo Slovakia. Not bad. Tanks can be ridiculously strong. Yeah, that's not bad. How many divisions they have left? 111 maybe, max? Oh, we didn't even use the cipher yet. Hold on. There you go. And they'll have the infantry go ahead as well. The elite. And I just hope that we're on Spartan discipline too, so. Very nice. If you want to go ring around the posy, or ring around the, the German German boys, it's on with me. Nice. Well, it's been a lot easier than I thought it would be. Look at all that. Manpower. Wow. Bit of Viborg, we'll, we'll kill the Finns off too. Don't worry. When in doubt, the Finns gotta go. 49 divisions left. 44 divisions left. 43. 41. Italy. Uh, 39, nice. I want to liberate Warsaw too. They are using some motorized, I guess. Yeah, we want motorized division, which is eh. You have a department? That's fine. How many, how many tanks are we out? None? Are we really out of no tanks? We still have 4,400 tanks? Nice. Man, the Ger complete German surrender? <clears throat> we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Not bad. Tsar's done it. He's done a really good job. Look at that Spartan discipline. I almost never get to that. I don't know if we really should be able to get to that far, but, you know, whatever. Are we in Germany proper yet? No, not yet. I am very close, though. Very, very, very close. Good job, guys. Nice. Can we core them too? Darn it. We have killed off two and a half million. Uh, let's do this one first. Complete German surrender. Treaty Riga. There you go. Our staggering advance to the lands of the Reich is on the globe. The Germans especially. The Germans have approached our government with an offer. To avoid nuclear war, the Germans are prepared to accept our Eastern European clams on the condition that German property left untouched by the treaty. Tell Germany we accept. Beautiful, my friends. And like normally to end off every campaign, we gotta come over here and beat the living crap out of the Finns. That's not a real TNO campaign in Russia unless you beat the crap out of the Finns. The rule to say, two new threatening people with nukes would get them stopped. Germany surrenders. Yes, humiliation finally over.
The city of Aarborg was won by the Soviet Union back in 1940 when the Red Army troops triumphed over the Finnish troops. Although the city was eventually retaken by Finland during the Great Patriotic War, many of our generals believed that with Petrograd back in the hands of the Russian Empire, we should put some distance between Finland and Petrograd and take what is rightfully ours. With even two divisions here, we'll be fine. And we'd retake it. <clears throat> As expected, our forces have triumphed over the smaller Finnish nation once again as a result of this great victory. Vyborg has finally returned to a glorious motherland. The people of Petrograd will rest easier now, knowing they won't have to fear an attack from the north anytime soon. A victory for the motherland. Beautiful. We already have a cord? Is it? Yes, yes we do! Ah, not bad, my friends. Not bad whatsoever. But hey, I think that's it. I think that was a... Look at all the radar stations I made. Holy crap. But I think it was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed this campaign. I love Vyako. Vyako is a lot of fun. It's difficult sometimes, especially when you find two fronts when you first begin, but <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. And the devs, like I said before, have clearly shown that they love making stories, and they just love this mod so much, <clears throat> despite some of them being a little weird. But hey, oh well. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on Vyaka and TNO before Toolbox 3 comes out, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign.